Welcome to the CNG Gamecast, episode number 206, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode weekly and release it on all podcast services, so do us a favor and show us some love. Like, follow, or subscribe to the YouTube channel, the CFG channel, or go to our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com, to not miss an episode. If you want to throw in some ducats uh, our way and support the podcast itself, you can always become a CFG VIP member by going to the CFG.store for some extra goodies and incentives. Hey, but anyways, I am Mr. CFG Games, a.k.a. Davis Green, and with me today are my two awesome co-hosts. I got Lex in the second seat. What is going on, my cyborg? Woohoo! So, I didn't game too much this week. I played a little bit of Dreamlight Valley just to keep up with my chests and not to let the weeds get crazy. Uh, but uh, I made some big adult moves this week. I am done with court. Yay! Mm -hmm. Uh so I'm so happy about that. Finally done with court. But now I've got 101 other million things to do. It's like 101 Dalmatians. I get rid of 10 and a bunch more show up, you know? Um, so I did that. I also bought myself a new beefy baby. Uh, she will be arriving or at least shipping out on the 16th of February. So come that next week, I will have a whole new setup as far next as week PC is Next week is the concerned. 16th. Yeah, that's two I weeks. I did say week i said the week after i will have a brand new setup oh cause, i'm sorry yeah because it the 16th is uh, a friday and we have podcasts on saturday so i can't set up the new setup on the 17th i'm gonna have to work on it the 18th and 19th you know uh but we got mm -hmm. a new beefy baby coming in uh you know i always like building my computers this is the first pre-built that i'm buying for myself ever uh my current pc was a pre-build but my dad bought it for me and surprised me with it and she's been a good little baby this whole time i've upgraded her a bunch uh but now it's time for her to rest and uh we have the new beefy baby coming in and i'm very excited was it a lot of money yes was it fun to spend that amount of money also yes <laughs> so i don't know where yeah. you're getting that with that but <laughs> it sounds like a flex if anything it was fun <laughs> I usually, you know, I walk into Target and I'm like, okay, you can buy two things you don't need and that's it. You know, I'm very budget conscious <laughs> and friendly as far as it with my wallet. I'm a punk rock kid till the day I die. I can make 20 bucks last a long time, but it was fun to do that. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited. Also getting ready for V-Day. Uh, Opie asked Adam first, so I asked my little cousin and I went to Ulta on a shopping spree and... That's going to be fun to surprise her. But I got to make some like sparkly flowers for her. Mm. I know. That was, that's your Lex news. My blood work Is came back bad. Opie hoping for a uh, lady in a tramp moment with dust. Probably. Possibly. Maybe oh, somebody yeah. get a picture of that. Oh, for sure. I mean, she I already, mean... she tried to kick me out of the bed the other night. Uh, <laughs> he kind of, he went to roll over and her first thought was, oh, he's awake. Because I was a, I was awake watching TV, kind of like nodding off, but the lights were out. She got up, full body wag, so the whole bed was shaking. And <laughs> I went to reach over because I knew Adam was definitely asleep. He just rolled over, but was having a bad dream. And I went to like kind of jostle him, and mm. she flattened herself between us, and then all four feet tried to push me off the bed. <laughs> uh, so yeah lady in the tramp definitely in in her sight uh i asked jadzia if i could be her valentine and she hissed at me so there we are. god Lee. hey but Lex. i'll get her a new bath mat that's that'll make her happy yes <laughs> Do you know who i wouldn't trust sending me a package in the mail that could be a pre that could be a gift me but also what? <laughs> yeah, you and the five-star general of the itty bitty Smitty Committee. I got Smitty in the third seat. What's going on, my dude? Uh, dirty. <laughs> you got your package. I thought I messed up, but I didn't. You got your package. <laughs> Get out of my face. How you guys uh, doing, man? It's been a good, uh, solid week. Uh, again, we're going to talk about it here in a little bit, but I got to play Nightingale to participate during that stress test. So we're going to talk about that. Got down on some Power World a little bit. It had been a little bit. I kind of cooled off from it a little bit. So it's been a while since I played it. And, of course, I've been slowly making my way through Midnight Suns 
um, which I'm enjoying. The animation on game. it, very janky. It is the combat's very, very great. Janky. Like, yeah. yeah, but like the whole like the other parts, and you're like the open world, not open world, but like you as a person outside the battle system is kind of janky. Mm. Uh, but great cutscenes. I'm enjoying the story. So, um, yeah, all in all, it's been a pretty pretty solid week you forgot to mention that our base in power world uh got destroyed yet again and all your items are now gone so haha i wasn't gonna mention it i wasn't gonna mention it because <laughs> i didn't know it was a tourist spot that's the thing about communal communal wait, places what happened, like, Let me, i got a room to touch my shit <laughs> Wait, what caused it to go down again? Was it We're a fire thing sure. again? No, we built everything in stone except it's a stone. It, yeah, so like all of our separate rooms were in stone. Uh, and then there was kind of like almost like a garage attachment, which was where all, all of our workspaces were. I don't remember what happened exactly, but all of a sudden, like our flat surface that we worked off of and built up was no longer flat and the ground was coming into it. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of had to, the the people that were on at the time, I was not me and definitely not Smitty or Dust, but they had to kind of demo it. And so somebody's got our stuff nicely hidden away. <laughs> but it's, wow. Our locked boxes, our eggs that were in our rooms, gone. So we'll get them back. I have plenty of eggs for you, Smitty. Don't worry. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm not even worried about the eggs. I just had stuff in my in my chest. I know. I know. Yeah. I yeah, I'll give you all like, my stuff. You feel yeah. violated. That's what no. It I'm is. not trying to. Little, yeah. yeah. No. Basically, it's like that was the point of having your own thing, not for somebody to go in, wreck it, and then your shit's gone. Or steal otherwise, your eggs what was the point of? Yeah. Or room. you know, I don't <laughs> worry. I I stole an egg. <laughs> no, I, I, I stole an egg back. I absolutely stole an egg back. It was the same kind that I had, but I was like, "Yeah, you better believe it." I ain't even say anything to anybody. I'll be honest. <laughs> I did. I did get Fuck Lex's my. egg revenge after <laughs> seven of my eggs went missing. I was like, "Oh, all these eggs in the hatchery from the person I suspect took them. Guess what? They're already up taken." <laughs> wow, that's freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, no, thanks have been. Did, did you other. know that? The, so, Pal World has now surpassed 19 million. Yeah, yeah, like, good for like that, crazy. man. Just three Isn't days. The pause button. I mean, yeah, that is exactly. that is that is insane. Like, I mean, like, no, like, just, I mean, well, 19 million. You're hitting Nintendo numbers at this point for games. That's that's actually that's that's yeah. really good. That's really really Dude, good. They, it's crazy. Well, well, now only time will tell what their development cycles like and and how well they maintain it and mm. you know frequency of updates and things like that i think that will be the big tell in terms of if people continue playing uh or if it just fizzles out uh, I which think i don't know be... right now it doesn't look like it's going to be a fizzle out thing like there's all kinds of content that you can make around this particular game i think yeah. people will be on it like i don't think i think this is going to become like a, a a staple game for people if if they do this right i think that it's it's hard to say like what is being bought and what's not for now because since uh since uh there uh i don't think it's, i don't know if there's a way that that people are tracking the numbers that xbox players are playing i know the preferred choice is pc but uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how many of that 19 million is console and how many is really PC. I wish they kind of give you more of a, uh, a, a stat breakdown. Yeah, breakdown. Yeah, more yeah. of a breakdown uh, for it. Because, like, right now, you can play Pal World if you have Xbox Game Pass. And, and, I, and yeah. I guarantee you, mostly, it, 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 technically, it's also the same way for PC because, like, it's also available on PC Xbox Game Pass. So I don't Correct. know if yeah. there's. Yeah, so I don't know if they're if they're getting direct money from that or if someone's actually paying to do it or not. That I, I guess that that's a that's the que that's the question I have because I'll be like yeah because I'll be like I okay. mean there's got to be a way that they're calculating those numbers and and saying that because mm -hmm. otherwise. <laughs> The I only numbers like, that we can calculate is the one on Steam side because Steam shows the yeah. sales of how much it is, but like Xbox never shows how many how many bought uh, how many units are sold. Like the sure. uh, oh, yeah, which, which, weird. which sucks. Yeah, it always sucks that way. They <laughs> never show it. Yeah. I feel like they do in their quarterlies, but unless you're looking for that it, might, I, I feel like that was yeah, like maybe they announced it, or maybe I've seen developers quarterly. announce it mm. after the fact. 
yeah. uh, later down, down down the road. But I don't think those numbers are just readily available, Mm-mm. like like with uh, uh, Steam, Steam and stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, Steve, uh, Steve. Well, you, I mean, if you search for it, you can't. You can get it. Like it's available. Mm-hmm. Like it's oh. there. But Microsoft, yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't. You, like Microsoft, you just can't. Because like like yeah, theoretically, yeah, theoretically, like units sold for like how many how many units are sold by the Xbox Series X? It's not a guaranteed number. It's an estimate of where they're at by a, a calculated estimate of where they where they're at when they're uh when when said they don't tell you how many units they they actually sold. Sony d- yeah. tells you, yeah. Nintendo tells you, but that Microsoft never does. It's really cr- It's really nightmare. Weird. Don't worry, crossplay is coming soon. From yeah. what I'm I hear. In- if I have to start yeah. over to play with you, I'll do it. Forget there's two it. things. Yeah, there's two. I know, it should be I a migration of servers, either mm-hmm. that or like or like a uh, character. I I'd mean, the off the idea. off-putting thing for me is the fact that it's only four players on console, and then like uh, uh, uh compared yeah, to that, PC. And Hopefully PC that change. Game Pass, PC Game Pass is also only four. Yes, PC Game mm-hmm. Pass is also only four. Mm-hmm. Same. That's why you cannot uh, queue with Steam people. Correct. That's why it, it had something to do with the Xbox licensing. Correct. I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They also kind of were like, we're we don't know how popular this is gonna be. We don't want to bombard our servers, blah blah blah. blah. So they they had made the initiative to limit it on Xbox Game Pass, whether that's on the console or on your PC, to just four for now. Now when cross platform cross play happens that number obviously is gonna just disappear but Mm -hmm. yeah so but at least they have it as they'd rather have a product that's gonna work semi-stably as opposed to something that's just gonna be trash put people off and not have a good you i mean again everybody knows early access is basically the launch of your game Mm -hmm. you have launched your game going into early access but it's with the the no like you as a consumer knowing this game is not finished we're still working on it you are now essentially beta testing this game interesting mm, okay cool that's well 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 cool well we'll see where it go with, with, with power World. that's cool uh i did hear that big tim big tim asked uh i think it was a last ronin Video mm-hmm. game, the Ninja Turtle game. I'm pretty sure that did get canceled. Stop. I'm surprised Stop. nothing about it. I believe sure? it did. I'm I'm I wanna say keep keep looking, but I'm pretty sure I saw an article article and I it was like here like a couple weeks ago, maybe. So uh, that I saw something about it. Yeah. Was that an, was that an endeavored game? Not endeavored, but uh, uh Embracer. Uh I think so. Maybe. Yeah, everything that I'm finding. As of last year, August 16th, 2023, they said that it no longer had an official release date. Uh, but I am seeing, as of one week ago, it looks like somebody reported, rest in peace, bad news for TMNT, the last Ronin. Oh, stop. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm so mm-hmm. sad. I was looking forward to that, too. I'm me, too. I know. That was going to yeah. be so dope. Oh, I it like the last Ronin. And do sex. We lost mm-hmm. a new do sex game as well because Montreal Idols Montreal uh got hit with layoffs. Again, another victim of the Embracer group uh being underneath that umbrella. I didn't even yeah, it's unfortunate with that, but uh, yeah. I mean it's just like I it's weird well, Ninja Turtles would would be a Nickelodeon uh uh IP, right? So like I, it's weird if they go through Embracer it. for it. No, they didn't lose it. They still have it. Yeah, yeah, they still have it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I don't know who if they if that, if that's in house. They probably do what they usually do. They license out to a different third party company and to and then make the game out because like what they did with the uh, All Star Brawl. Anyways, we kind of digress. But anyways, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> as for me, uh, like I had a pretty a pretty chill week for the most part. Uh, more Final Fantasy uh, uh, fifteen. I'm I think I'm at the halfway mark on fifteen now, so that's good. Nice. Uh, yeah, then playing a uh, Grand Blue Fantasy verse of uh, Fantasy Relink. Uh, Going to be doing a review for that here uh, probably in a week or so. So looking forward to that. And um, I uh, and uh, basically looking for I'm uh, still still job hunting. So <laughs> for the most part, which actually this uh, I did come across something that might be very promising. So hopefully that might uh, th- nice. uh, that will change. Glad so, to hear that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah it actually was kind of funny because. Uh, I even told I told the guys straight up like I don't know what this is, but 
I know I like, but this is easier than what I'm normally used to doing. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be rocket science. I told this, and this was during the interview. It's like, this is not going to be rocket science for me to learn what this is. <laughs> they they mm-hmm. were like, I like that guy's jit. I like that. I was like, I like that guy's cut <laughs> straight up. Right? I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I like the cut go. of this jib. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was just like, you know, you get to a point when you don't, you know, when you get to a point, I don't know if you've ever gotten job hunting for a long period of time but we just get to a point where you're just over it you know <laughs> it's just like yes no more of the artificial I, like you know the just you just company kinda, you yeah you're it's, just straight blunt about what yeah. you want and you're just wanting to do it that's where i'm at right now yeah so. no, no no dude i totally like because again i need to start looking at stuff like that just to get something a little more consistent and whatnot Mm-hmm. Um and and health insurance is huge. Um, yeah, health insurance is yep. amazingly huge. Yeah. yeah, the last time I was job hunting was in two thousand six. <laughs> oh my god, you've been pretty consistent. <laughs> I was uh, at the station and then I got offered the job at the RJ, so I didn't have to go through. I went went in for an interview and stuff like that, but like it was, you know what I mean? It was that was like right. I went from one job directly into the next. Yeah. Like this is the first time I haven't had a job since 2006. It feels so, good though. <laughs> it feels good to be like your good. own boss. It though. does feel good, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I need know. money. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the downside is you're starting it ain't for coming cash. in quick enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the downside. And health like health insurance, dude, like for teacher out teachers out here. Trash. Ooh. It's horrible. It's like that, I'm pretty sure it's like that for everybody, everywhere. For public, yeah, yeah definitely mm-hmm. for everywhere. So mm-hmm. yeah, I feel that man. Wow. All right, yeah. I know, I know. Most of y'all don't want to talk about the most late where the where the best jobs are in throughout throughout the U.S. <laughs> here. So let's go to the normal rigor roll that we like to do each and every week. But before we do, I'd like to thank Vicky G, who is still supporting us on CFG store. The CFG store. Thank you so much. Uh, as well as Vicky anyone else G. can. <laughs> so thank you. And uh, but uh, well, well, let's get this rig and roll going. So, got, uh, guys, this is the CFG Gamecast. Uh, we do a discussion. Uh, each of us chooses a topic of discussion of the world of video games through the uh, throughout the previous week. The topic would or could be a game itself or something that happened in the gaming industry itself. And we don't want to talk about it amongst ourselves. We want you, the listeners and viewers on Twitch, YouTube, and on Kick, to be a part of the conversation conversation as always so if there's something that you're wanting to chime in about or talk about uh uh talk about whatever we're uh whatever topic we're talking by all means just type it inside the chat we would love to discuss it with you and go from there so smitty oh i'm first you're first i said you're first uh, oh did uh, you i I must have missed that i did not realize that's okay that's all right (laughs) because if you don't know and if you know me you know i love a good survival game like we talked about i've been enjoying pal world but i feel like we 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 finally got something i think nightingale was originally announced in 2022 um Mm. instantly was pumped about it it's been on my list i've been waiting for it so we saw earlier in the week that they're going to be running a stress test. Originally, the stress test was February 2nd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. PST. Um, about like midway through that, they sent out a tweet being like, hey, the, the servers are holding up strong. We're extending the stress test time to 6 p.m. PST, essentially. So we got some extra time on it. But I was able to, uh, and I, you know, I, I, I played it, I recorded it and stuff like that. What I really enjoyed about it so far, it seems like uh, there's a at least some sort of solid story there, which is really nice. Um, there's NPCs. There, I noticed that there was a little bit of voice acting missing from some of the NPCs. Some of them talked. Some of them just was text. But again, that could all change. Um, it was definitely a more grounded experience then you know and again i'm just comparing this to, to power world because it's the other survival game that i'm that i'm playing right now so um it kind of felt like you know what i was playing it, it felt almost like a kind of dark souls ish um at least difficulty wise and like what was going on mind you with this test they already started you with equipment and stuff like that so you're kind of dropped in the middle uh, of the game being able to do stuff and whatnot. So it's not like a true experience um, that you would get once the game comes out, starting out fresh. 
Um, no server issues at all, though. Like, I didn't have any kind of, like, crazy... Like, there was, like, some jank with the uh, enemy AI. Like, they moved super fast, and they knocked you around quite a bit. I forgot that you could block uh, and things like that. But, like, <laughs> your main, like, survival game things are there. Going mining, uh, crafting. I built a house. I built, you know, I built a uh, a bench and and all that stuff. So I didn't get a ton of time to play, but I got a good solid like two and a half, three hours in. And uh, yeah, this is you know again, I wouldn't even like part of the thing about it is that you're able to you basically want to open up these uh, portals and they'll take you to other worlds, different realities and stuff. Um, Cause I think the mission is to try to get back to this city or place that you originally uh, started at. So I, I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Like I had fun, like it's a solid survival game. So like whenever it comes out, even if it comes out, I, I think it's supposed to, I don't know if it's fully releasing in, was it April? I want to say of this year, I believe it's supposed to come out. Somebody, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's a this year game, uh, which I could see it, but there's definitely some polishing that needs to be done. But just the limited time that I had, I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed what I thought, or at least a little bit of the story that I got. It looked gorgeous. Um, again, I ramped things down just because my PC personally can't handle a lot and record but it still looked good there was a you know night and day uh cycle there was weather where like it was hailing and like the hail was hurting me like you literally have an umbrella um so like that plays a factor into the game as well so uh yeah it definitely has the 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 meat and the, and the things of a, a solid survival game uh, was there. So I did enjoy it. I'm ready for it. I want more of it. Mm. Uh, well, I don't know, like, well, overall, well, this seems, <laughs> you know, okay. like, these survival games to me, like, they all almost look the same to me, like, when it comes to it. So the, like, Shut your mouth. I'm sorry to say it. I'm just sorry to say it. But there's just, differences though. There are I mean, differences. I'm sure there are for Huge. people that play that I'm sure I'm not I'm not saying that they are the same that they're that, right. they, that all of them are the same. I'm just saying that to me, they just seem like the, the same kind of thing to it. It's like it's uh but like uh, the, I guess we're, we're, from the video I'm seeing, it's really hard for me to decipher if it's like like because it's so dark. I can't remember for the most part. It is kind of dark. Itself. I don't. That should be. Is that the HD version? It should be. Uh, uh, let me see if I can change it to HD. Is it? No, yeah, just a, double check 10, that. But that's the best one. That's a 1080. 1080. Never mind. Yeah, 1080. yeah. it it was yeah. kind of I just dark see. at least in there because I didn't have uh, let me, let a me, fire. Let me, like there was like at one point in the video, do you like literally? I cannot see the enemies. I go into this <laughs> tunnel. I'm working my way around. I see a bunch of red bars and I get absolutely annihilated okay, yeah to, yeah I, I moved it over <laughs> to something daytime so like I mean, so, go, yeah so what is the like i mean like what's the difference that this game is introducing in in survival like what's the what's the gimmick that this game has that other survival games really don't have or what makes it worse? it's hard to really say i know that there is a card system uh, within this that you can get buffs, you can do things. Again, I didn't even get the, to get to a point where I was able to do any portal traveling. So that I imagine is going to bring a whole different dynamic where you get the, you can either go to friends worlds mm -hmm. or you can get sent to a random world. Um, and, and who knows what kind of enemies, resources, treasures and stuff like that you will, you'll find. But I think the goal of the game is to try to get back to this city, this place that in particular in time and everybody was basically cast out into the void, but their compass or something like that isn't working properly. So mm. when you go through, it just sends you to random, random places. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like what it uh, you said, this is a, this is a stress test for online. Were you able to early access February 22nd? Yo, that's around the corner. I had it's no idea. No, take that's my money. I, I'm, well, I'm overnighting my PC so I can play. It. <laughs> well, wait a minute, though. Like, so what's the online? Because like, it, it seems like did you did you see anyone on here when you were playing, or the two hours that you played? I did not. I didn't see anybody 
Uh, again, I think this is where actually going through the portals may introduce that. I think essentially there's like a starter island that okay. everybody starts at, a starting point that everybody starts at. Then once you get to a certain level or whatever, then you're able to kind of traverse to other planes and i imagine that maybe that's when you start encountering other people i don't know how that system works exactly but you can have a party of six not only mm -hmm. that but you can also recruit ai to be in your party they'll come back to your base and help you do things and manage stuff as well okay cool which yeah, yeah i i again i enjoy that system uh having that extra help because you know it can be kind of daunting doing everything by yourself. There's got to be some way to like kind of automate some of the more tedious uh, uh, tasks and things. So. To be fair, yeah, to be fair though, this, you only you said you only played like two hours of it, so that still relatively it, is... Yeah, you know, so it was a very limited purview of, of what... And again, it wasn't even starting from the beginning. It was mm. starting where you already yeah. have weapons and all the things that you need to be able to fully experience it, essentially, okay. except for being able to get to the portal. Can so I die? A, yeah, here's the deal, though. <laughs> here's the deal, though, because this is the problem I have right now, because you got Power World. You got this coming out in it's February 22nd. You got Enshrouded uh, uh, as well. They're all, are those all survival games? And they're all, they're all out, survival games. And they're all yes. close to each, they're all coming out fairly close to each, to one another here. So, like, mm. I mean, what well, do you mean? Is, is Enchanted already out or is it already? Yes. I think that's, uh, uh, it's, it's all early access stuff, right? They're all in early access, oh, essentially. Yeah. I mean, it's still accessible for someone to just come in and just say, hey, I want to play this. I mean, that's Correct. what you're saying, wanting to get. Like, mm -hmm. if you, mm -hmm. you can still buy it and then you can play it, and, like, mm -hmm. uh, closely all this. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, man, that is, I mean, don't you kind of feel like it's an, over, it's an oversaturation of this? <laughs> like, no. Like, no, uh, uh, not at all. There is enough variety in, um, yeah. That I could play them all. I mean, shit, dude. Like, even if I wanted more of a real life experience, I could then go play Scum, which I know is super. You know what I mean? Like, that is like you are piecing pieces together, and they don't mm. hold your hand in that. That's more of like a simulation survival, where mm. these are more of a. This is more of like a a Dead Souls survival. Power World is more of a you know cartoony survival experience. They all vary enough for me to be able to, and again, to me, the the ability, if you're a content creator, the ability to create co content around these games are limitless. Mm -hmm. I feel like they become like a sandbox that you can do so much in. That's what, oh, yeah. that's what I have a great appreciation for survival mm -hmm. games like that. Hmm? Okay. Agreed. I've been waiting for this game. Everyone's like, mm -hmm. well, you can just play in Shrouded White. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, I have room for one more after Power World. Mm -hmm. Power World that was unexpected. So I've mm -hmm. been waiting for Nightingale since day one. Um, with the portal systems and all of that, it very much, what is that show from when we were like, gosh, growing up where they went Burn through really portals? No. Uh, uh, SG1? What? Stargate? Oh, Stargate. Stargate. The portals very much remind me kind of of Stargate. Mm. So, yes, everybody who started in this ga gas lamp type city and then they all got thrown through the portal. And now your goal is to try to get back. Uh, and that's why you're building and crafting and all this. I watched the intro because Dust played this dress test. He, he played for about two hours as well. He got off around mm. 530. I, I had to leave. I was like, I, I should have. I want to play but I don't want to ruin it for myself. I just want to wait. It looks, it looks so good. Ah, oh, I can't wait. I okay, can't so wait. Okay, so what yeah. Dust is saying here is says, uh, enshrouded, it will endless replayability with the portal and card system. Well, okay. I, don't know. Mm. I guess I guess I don't know what the what, what you're saying on the portal because I, I'm, the video I've seen, I don't know what these portals you're talking about. I guess in the frame of reference, I don't know what that means. But uh, uh, what Dust is saying also says that uh, Enshrouded is much more like a single player open world RPG with survival mechanics that that you can invite three to four friends to play uh, with you through through your campaign. Mm. So that so that seems much different than what you're saying. What this is, which was correct, a gas lamp aesthetic, At vo uh, voxel based construction and building, and up to ten. 10 person co -op. The building was nice too. The building aspect yep. was pretty solid already, which is usually a hard part for mm -hmm. for some of these devs. 
Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I know that's the. <laughs> or they don't randomly combust into fire when you try when. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You never know. No, you're right. You're right. Does Nightingale is far more developed in terms of of a storyline than most survival games on the market. This is big facts. So um, most survival action. games that I played in early access usually don't have a story mode out the gate or or a story develop out the gate. Um, this having a story and whatnot, like was a nice, like that gives you a little guidance. You, that gives me something to go towards and, and try to accomplish as opposed to, Hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm surviving. There's waves of enemies. There's things I'm just looting up and not really having a purpose. I feel like this gives you a purpose out the gate. Yeah, okay, that's, mm-hmm. I mean, that's a good way to describe it. So, it's, I guess I'm, uh, well, like, it's, like, you already know, I don't play survival, so I have no idea. But, mm-hmm. like, uh, uh, so is this the flagship, was this the flagship survival game that you were anticipating, that you were wanting to get uh, be- before being surprised about Power World? Because I know you were talking about it, yes. like, a couple of months ago. Uh, uh, but then, but this is the one that y'all were, like, anticip- highly anticipating yes. to, to wanting to play this. We both, uh, already, didn't, weren't we doing right? the thing? Didn't we do oh, a yeah. live stream where oh, it yeah. was when we first saw this? I we think. Lost yeah. Don't yeah. You and I both were like, absolutely. Dust was losing mm-hmm. it in the chat. Me and you were like, oh mm-hmm. my God, I can't wait. And then everything else that was shown was like a snooze fest. Nightingale was like the Huck. big upfront. Oh. Wow, that was two like two years. years ago. Was that that was like yeah. E three, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. Like the last E three, like online E three. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yep. Yep. Wow! Dang. Okay. Not that everything was a snooze fest, but, it, but we were there for six hours. <laughs> we were yeah. literally we were yeah, yeah yeah we were there for a long day. It was a long day. It was a long but day. It was a long day. Yeah, I have been patiently <laughs> awaiting this for two years, and so is Smitty. Like every couple months, I check out. I'm like, you still wait? You still wait for nine? I can't believe y'all remember <laughs> that. Dang. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I did not ago. forget about that Nightingale. I'm sorry, Victorian gas lamp, steampunk, yeah. and dinosaurs. Say in, less. In in the in the hold on. Maybe you don't. I don't know if you want to hear this about the character creation. Um, but with the in the character creation, you are able to set up your ancestry, and like you pick different characters that like builds out like your family tree and stuff. Like I was oh, like, that wow. is sick. Yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. that, is, that's crazy. <laughs> that so- was really cool. So given give or take though, like I mean, you're 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 sat you're satisfied for what you're seeing. What, wait, was that an astral tyrannosaurus? I'm gonna have to back that up. Give me a minute. What was that? <laughs> See, dude, that's exactly how I felt. Well, he has horns. Was and that a giant? Yeah, I think it's like a moon, like a giant astral. Well, like, dude, they they have like freaking like uh, Dark Souls like bosses. I'm pretty sure in yeah. this game. So there's. Like, I've seen video. There's little dudes oh, no. that look like velociraptors until they turn their head towards you, and it's a woman's face, and then underneath their jaw lifts up, and they open their mouth. It is effing terrifying. I was oh, like, I did not yeah. run into that. That sounds that? Ter- <laughs> There were some. There were. Well, maybe oh, I did. I, the creatures that are in there. It's hella hard to see. But yeah, yeah, they were creep like that. The, 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 the enemies were creepy. They showed it, in and the they were hard to kill. Yeah, wow. they showed it in the beginning, and then a bigger guy came and chased them away. It was mm-hmm. it was kind of like the opening, I think, before the character creation, or maybe after. Uh, but oh. yeah, it was a whole I was like, oh, I like their <laughs> hair. It's nice and stringy. Oh. Yeah, it was a velociraptor <laughs> with a creepy lady face. I said, oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Man. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, it's, hey, if you enjoyed it, I'm excited about this. Is. And uh, yes. at, least, at least it's not it's kept the hype. It kept your it kept your interest, especially if something that you remembered it's to say it's that years people, down the road, especially for you to remember it, Smitty, is quite an accomplishment in itself. So yeah. say, you know why? You know why I have uh <laughs> Moria? I haven't touched it yet. What I really? uh, wow the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, a, no. that's a survival game as well. I watched mm-hmm. Mick. I think Mick beat that, or she's. Are still, you serious? I think she beat it with uh with some of the, her her little crew. But yeah, I was oh. watching her play it. It was very dark. Guys, turn your game up so I can see. It's okay. I'm getting yeah. No, apparently that is a thing. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. it is with that. That's terrible. Yeah. 
You know what I have to do though too? When I play my PlayStation Five, I have to I have to know because for some reason it's lighter on my side, but when it, mm. when it comes across on the screen, it's a lot darker. darker. So when it's yeah. also like you know when it tells you the to to put the slider <laughs> so you can barely see the image or whatever. Uh, yeah, I have, to, I have to consciously remember. Oh wait, it's darker on the stream side, so I have to make it a always. little bit brighter. It, uh, it, it, what yeah. looks good on your end will show up at least three stages darker on the <laughs> other end. So, like, I wonder if that's like a color profile thing or something. I think I, it's a color profile I, I or think something. So. Yeah, it has to be. Like, there's some some sort of communication through like OBS. Yeah, it just it makes it darker. It's like no, no, no. I can't see nothing. Yeah, we'll but I'm glad it. you're having fun. <laughs> you know. <laughs> know right? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Check it out. Good. So come check it out. How much is it? February 22nd. They said early access. I don't even know how much I it is. I don't know. Let me find out. Three yeah, ninety nine. I hope that'd be. Yeah, I wish. I it's wish. Three ninety nine. Nah. When you go on Raid Shadow. Wait, Legends. it's on Game Pass. It's, it's gonna be on Game, Game Pass, bro. Okay, Game Pass. The win. I know it's gonna be on Game watch Pass. On watch of the, it's there for like a year. If they do that server thing, thing, I'm gonna be hella salty. <laughs> I will buy it. That's what I did I'll with Power World. Game, yeah. I ended up buying it because I was yep. like, no, I, you're not gonna limit me. It's not. It sounds, you can't hold it me sounds, back. It <laughs> sounds like it, it sounds like ex- Game Pass has some sort of levels of limitation if they're gonna do that same thing with Power World. <laughs> I think it's a Microsoft Xbox thing. I, oh, it's definitely a Microsoft Xbox Help thing. Me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, or, or the whole thing with like uh, you can play or like, Exo Primal. You can you can't play with people on the Game Pass. Can you, can you Man, with, can that's you an Exo like Primal that? thing. Yes, uh, that's okay. supposed to be coming in the next uh, season. Yeah, that update uh, across oh, or season. whatever their mode is or whatever, it will exist. Twenty four yes. ninety nine. I can't wait. Is the answer. You're on twenty four ninety nine. I know. Yeah. Say, oh, say, say less. less. <laughs> that is so crazy. Exactly. Pay like less up in here. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Oh yeah. It, right. Oh yeah. Well, mm. nice. Okay. Well, yeah. my, we'll go with my topic here. Uh, I I don't think I even told you what my topic was, but it's all good. You already know what it is. It's gonna be the state of play. Uh. Oh. Yeah, because like uh, so, Smitty and I we went on. Uh, we kind of just did a uh, random state of play or a stream. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't try. I didn't know. Well, it was. <laughs> it was literally that day. It was okay. This is what happened. It was literally that day. Because remember, I didn't even have anything. Like I decided to say, hey, or I I texted Smitty in the morning. Hey, do you want to stream this? Uh, go go on the thing and stream. And it's like, yeah, sure. Uh, so we did. We, I literally did it all like on the cusp, like uh, uh, towards this. So no organization. So sorry. Uh, but uh, that is true. Yeah, I yeah. So uh, yes. yes. So we did. Uh, so we did a state. We were. We did a state of play stream, which was really cool. We were uh, really cool talking to a lot of folks about it and uh, had a good time. Uh, uh, I mean, this is a this is a slow. This is going to be a slow year for PlayStation. So uh, there was the expectations of it. Was it really high, uh, uh, f- uh, for the most part? But but really, most of the plays aren't really like the hype. It, it doesn't really hype you up, anyways. In my in my personal opinion, like there there hasn't been a, a state of play that was like, oh my god, I can't wait till these games come out. Uh, for a long mm-hmm. for a, for a long while, they were just, they kind of went through a, a. They're at a point where it's like the they're being realistic on what they're what they're showing to you, and it's like okay, here you go. Uh, but there there are a couple of cool things that they uh, that they did announce. Like I think one of the big ones, uh, well, the biggest one was Death Stranding, which uh, Death Stranding two. They actually showed video of uh, uh, or uh, I guess it's gameplay though too, but it's Death Stranding two. It's Hide- Hideo Kojima's. Uh, a sequel for uh, the UPS simulator that, that was on the original PlayStation 4, the PS5. Uh, now, I was talking to Smithy about this a long time ago, and I'm like, I don't know what the hell is going on in this game. Like, like it, the game is so crazy. It's like, I don't even know what, what's up. And, uh, like, like there's a dude that, that's rifting on a guitar and then with an axe and stuff like that. Like, it, it was ridiculous. <laughs> like, what is going on is what, is what, what it was. And uh, so it's just it just normally uh, oh it's okay it's at this point yeah so I'm like 
he was like, what is going on, dude? Like, I don't even, I don't even know what what's happening. It's like, I, I knew about the ghost baby, which that alone is a is a is a thing. Is just beyond a me. A ghost but, baby. Yeah, that's what, Show that's what, me the baby. That's what it was. Uh, that's what. Well, that's what the first one was. Like you, the uh, the thing that he was carrying was a was a baby, but it wasn't oh. a live baby. It was a ghost baby, and, oh, and it was Smitty, in an artificial he's trying not thing. to listen. Well, it's not. It's not. It's not spoilers. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten that far. That's what you are. No, that's what it is. That's what you're carrying. Like, like the first thing that you, the thing that you have on you. Like, that's not even a spoiler. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the ghost yeah. of the child I'll never have. It's a ghost. Ba- <laughs> well, it, the, it's a ghost. I call it. A, I call it a ghost baby. That's the. That's the call. Uh, the the term I call it. But that's what they are. <laughs> But uh, but anyways, but yeah. So Death Stranding two looks looks beautiful. It's a Hideo Kojima game, so that's coming. Uh, I think they slated it for twenty twenty five, uh, which I probably will say that that's gonna be, that sucker's gonna get delayed. Uh, <laughs> uh, but then you got. But then th- there was some other cool stuff that that happened. They they showed like a preview of uh, Hell Divers two that should be coming out this month, I believe. Um, a really interesting one called Stellar Blade, uh, which was a uh, that looked great. Oh, uh, I guess it was a roguelike. Is it roguelike? Like kind of like a Dark Souls? No, like, dude. Kinda... I think it's like a no. I think it's more like a Bayonetta, oh, like an action like... RPG type of game. That's what it or open world. Yeah, I think it was like an open world action RPG. What's it called? Game. Stellar Blade. Uh, I'll uh, look it up. Yeah, that the outfits looks... were fire. <laughs> yeah, that, that looked like a uh, what's it called? Like it had story, but at the same time, it had like those weird bosses. Or you know, uh, um, not 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 um, uh, Scarlet Nexus. That reminds me of Scarlet Nexus in a way. If, mm. if you remember playing those kind of games, yeah. So that was a really cool uh, a, a game from a studio in Korea, a Korean game. Uh, so it looks really cool. The, uh, then they also were talking about V Rising, which is a really uh, like. So I played V Rising two years ago, and uh, what I played was fun. It was a fun, like a uh, uh, a grid like kind of kind of game, like a weird angle, kind of like a Diablo looking kind of game. Yeah, it was, it was fun as hell. Uh, but they totally made this game look so much nicer in that within that two years. It's like they totally refined it and looks a lot better. So it was really cool. Uh, so that one uh, didn't have a didn't have a date on that. But then they also had a a silent release of Silent Hill Short Message, which is completely free to play on the PlayStation uh, PlayStation Store. Uh, so you can uh-huh. download that. Yeah, download that yourself. They, we on said, four? Um, or is it only available on five? Do you I'm, know? No, I think really, it is four too. Was it, was it four? What's I don't it? know. I feel like it Silent might Silent Hill. Be. What? Short message. Short message. The short, short message. message. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, to be honest, with you, I really don't know. If anyone knows, let me know or or maybe or check it out for Looking yourself. Looking it up right Lex. now. Uh, yeah, I can't that, remember. Yeah. I don't have yeah. yeah. Then, uh, then they also showed the Silent Hill Two remake that they're that they're, that's mm. coming out uh, for PS Five. Yeah. So that. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, that is going to be freaking money. Uh, Stop <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> the second we saw that, we're like, oh, this is uh, this is Lex. This is uh, this is definitely literally Lex. Said that. Yeah. 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 So there's yeah. Giving you, now they're giving you reasons for the PS Five. So there you Shit. go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then <laughs> on top of that. Now. The until uh, until dawn remake for PS5, they're doing a, a a ground up remake for that that's coming out. Uh, that's coming out. Uh, they don't have a date on that as well. Uh, so I mean, so basically they were showing some really cool stuff for the most uh for the most part. Uh, but uh, it, oh, and they also shows Rise of the Ronin gameplay, which I'm definitely gonna pick up. That's gonna because I love samurai stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, the uh, but overall though, it was a. I mean, it was a reserved. I would say, the, for the most part, it was a very reserved uh, uh, PlayStation uh, state of play. Oh, they did also announce that there's going to be another state of play, but that's going to that one's 100 percent dedicated for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that's coming out this month. Mm-hmm. Which, I think that's um, next week. No, well, it's you like mean, it, re, you mean the same? No, nah, I think yeah, it's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's on yeah, Tuesday. I think it's like the right. sixth. Yeah, it's on yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, if mm-hmm. you want, do you want to do you want to do you want to do, do it again? Because uh, like, I don't uh, know let me double check time. Uh, but I should be good. For yeah. well, Tuesday, oh, I wasn't invited. So it's okay. Well, I was gonna ask is like if you were wanting if you were wanting to go, wanting to do it. 
too but uh sure what time yeah yeah. uh well we'll figure it out we we can talk about later okay Uh, but uh but yeah but if 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 i know if i know if if we're gonna do it then i i'll have time to actually prepare because like literally when i did this one i was like let me try doing this and see how good it is and then we did (laughs) Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I wanted to cut to make cut scenes too to kind of be like those points because I know there were there was a lot of yelling of me and be like, "What the hell are you think?" And Kajima, <laughs> like, "What the hell am I watching?" He was, he got, <laughs> he was very upset. I, I feel like I one of the upset. other big things that you forgot about though was the fact that Kojima announced that he's going to be going back to his roots after forty years in the gaming industry and is working on a PS exclusive. Um, espionage, uh, action espionage game, essentially. Uh, we know that he can't do Metal Gear, but like, I've been waiting for this moment for quite some time. I don't care, dude. I am a total weirdo for Kojima. I'm here for all his weird. The man's got weird. He needs to get out into the world, and I appreciate it. Not only that, but he's also been digging into, I love the fact that he's, going to be really exploring different mediums not only between what we got from this but also the xbox one that he's working with on uh uh, jordan peele you know again there's more of this talk of uh cinematography and game intermixing i am here for it we saw that it works uh especially i think alan wake 2 is a fantastic example of great and, and great way of utilizing both mediums so i'm really pumped to see what his next ventures are, I can't even lie. I'm telling you, I'm like, it's going to be it's going to be laser cat. It's going to be like laser cats or something. I just have a feeling it's just something give me laser cats. Gonna, then I don't gonna, even care. Gonna, gonna <laughs> are you saying laser cats? Like yeah, meow, meow, cats. cats. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's the Kojima. I mean, he, he does all kinds of weird things. Yeah, he can do anything he, he wants. He will do whatever he wants. <laughs> he can borrow Jazia. She doesn't mind Play putting it in here. Play, like okay, like when you really seriously think of like how Metal Gear Solid One make up from the uh, from the musical. Oh, don't no, you no. dare! Don't you dare say, say stupid no. stuff like that! How dare you? <laughs> Kojima, oh, baby. I'm just saying that, like Kojima, like would you just see how crazily like creative? And, and this is not a this isn't a knock to Kojima. It's just I'm just saying, like when you see the the beginning of how Metal Gear Solid started to where Metal Gear Solid ended, it's like oh my god, what the hell happened? It's like it it, it, it's, it was it was it, it transformed to something weird. It, like I mean, it was like oh okay cool. You had Psycho Mantis, some of the weird people, but then but they were fairly tamed relatively to the other stuff that happened in the future, like especially in Metal Gear Solid Five. So, <laughs> like, uh, uh, so I'm just saying, one. yeah, huh? What I said that one was weird, just because yeah. of how things played yeah. out and stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah. So it's I'm just hard saying, to, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that he's like, he, like the more gradual, like he loves making these these interesting, abstract, like different kinds of things. I've like I've always like I've kids like like uh uh Kojima is like the modern Andy Warhol of the gaming industry. Uh yeah. Yeah, so yeah. like uh, uh but uh I'm Great just saying that it. yeah, it's just like I won't be surprised. So it's not going to be just a straightforward action adventure game, which is go- I'm just I'm just kidding saying I don't know what to expect, but I know it's going to be weird and just be like okay, everyone's going to definitely be like, oh, this is gonna be the next best thing since sliced bread, yeah. kind of. Kind exactly. Of I'm gonna flip over to some game of the year. Yeah. <laughs> game of the century. Mr. Kojima, <laughs> you are welcome to use my cat. She has pantaloons, so you don't have to key out her butthole because you'll never see it. You know. So there you go. She doesn't mind wearing little green outfits. She's oh, fluffy though, it. so you might need to oh. dots. Huh? You can, green screen that, you can green screen that stuff. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. You, easy, it, when she easy, lifts easy. up, oh, when she lifts up her tail, you still can't see it because she's got little fuzzy pantaloons because she's so fluffy. You know, perfect. So, <laughs> But, uh, and the uh, but overall, like like I said, overall the uh, the the state of play was good. It was fun. It was like that. I mean, there wasn't any super surprises besides, I guess, the Silent Hill silent release uh, that happened. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's out yet. Uh, it message, definitely is out. Is it? Short message, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Short message definitely is out. Uh, but but Silent Hill Two remake isn't. I I don't think they no. gave a date on that yet. But. Uh, uh, no, but yeah, so I don't they're think definitely so. coming out with it. Uh, yeah, so I mean, what do you th- overall, Smitty? What do you think? Uh, uh, it was, yeah, I thought it was solid again. They gave me uh, some Kojima hype, 
We finally got the Death Stranding 2. We've known about that for some time now. So mm. being able to physically see some stuff was great and get at least a tentative year, uh, I think is is cool. Plus his other announcements. Uh, there was some Sonic news from Sega as well. Like overall, I thought it was solid. Um, just how they presented everything and, and went through. It was exactly what I thought it was. Again, the Silent Hill uh, short message shadow drop i thought was dope i'm always down for for shadow drops like that i think that's so uh so much fun for people to here's what's coming but here's something you can have right now too i think gets people pumped up mm. uh so yeah overall i thought it was a i thought it was a solid state of play i was kind of surprised that they didn't have any final fantasy 7 but then they were like oh yeah next week we're gonna be doing a final fantasy 7 rebirth mm. uh state of play we're gonna give it all to you yeah. So uh, I figured, I was like, yo, that's right around the corner, son. Like, they're going to start kicking that in the high gear here. So we'll be <laughs> seeing more and more about it. I think that overall, yeah. So, I mean, like, well, first off, is this making you want to get a PS5 finally, Lex? I'm going to have to. Um, <laughs> so the answer is you cannot play Silent Hill Short Message on PlayStation 4. It will show up oh. in the store, but you can't play it. So Ooh. I guess I'm going to have to get one. It's fine. Well, you were meaning to get one a long time ago, anyways. Yeah, but, I'm gonna, even... but uh, so yeah, the answer is yes. I'm gonna have to. I want to play the Silent Hill uh, remake. Mm -hmm. um, I've been trying to get a copy of the original Silent Hill to oh, play on expensive. my computer. I mm, oh I, PC one. I, okay, I can't tell you my ways or how, but I've gotten very close several times. I've already done it with American McGee's Alice. I'll figure out how to play it. I have it. I just need another program to help open it, if that makes sense. It's an old game. Um, but I would, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Death Stranding 2 even looks good. And I never played the first one. Uh, it's I got. beat it. It's got, um, gosh, her little sister. I can't think of Dakota Fanning's little Dakota sister. Dakota Fanning's sister. Elle yeah. Fanning. Yeah. Elle Fanning. Oh, Elle. Uh, love her. She's got such a unique look. You, you can't, you could, she could be in a crowd of 100 people that are blonde and you'd be like, that's her, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I love her. I think her acting is fantastic. Um, it look everything I mean, looks no great. Dakota Fanning, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Love to coach Fanning too. She's in a show that we uh, have. Do you, like, do, you, do you know? I'm sorry to kind of digress, no, here, but uh, do you know the kill the Fanning was in Equalizer Four? Yes. And then uh, and I had no idea until I saw the rolling credits because I didn't think that the I didn't know that Dakota Fanning is now 26 years old. I and know. Then, yeah. And then, yeah, and then on top of that, I thought about it, and I was like, "Wait a minute, is this the remake of of uh, Man on Fire?" Because it was her and Denzel <laughs> Washington when she was like a kid, and I was yeah. like, "But the screw up!" I was like, "Oh, this is yeah, this is this is too Man trippy." Man on Fire man. is one of my favorite movies. I have the DVD case, and I recently <laughs> went to open it. Our internet went out, and I was like, eh, "I've watched Labyrinth five times this week. Let me put in Man on Fire." There's a note inside of it. For from somebody who borrowed the disc from me and never gave it back, and I'm so mad. Well, look, <laughs> but I'm trying to watch all the. I've never. I don't think I've seen the original Equalizer, and I was like, well, that'll be a weekend thing where when I'm cleaning, I'll just start the first yeah. one. And but I can't seem to find a couple of them. But I'll figure that out. So I, online yeah. digital, man. I, well, I bought I them a know. long time ago. That's what I did. But uh, I know you and your ooh. digitals. Let me borrow your login. <laughs> The digital, <laughs> the digital downloads on it is like, oh, like it's only movies. I don't know. I, I I'm know. Fi I'm fine with movies on digital downloads because I don't care. Yeah. But like uh, when it comes, uh, although when it comes to like for some reason anime, I don't like getting digital. I like to get physical on that. But then yeah. also, and then also uh, games. Games are always I'm gonna still, be physical for me. I'm still a physical DVD gal, and it's funny because off topic i'll have friends come over and they're like oh my gosh you have this collection I'm like girl walmart dollar bin mm -hmm. i dig through that sucker like i don't know a couple times a year and that's how i got my entire um oh gosh uh what was the show they, nope they had a cartoon it's the skeleton uh, he, but man. I, he man, yeah. No, it, he tells scary stories. Tales oh, Tales Crypt. of the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt. I have the original. <laughs> I have the whole DVD collection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Good evening. Because <laughs> they had a cartoon version too, but the adult version played on the weekends. The HBO. At late night. Yep. Yeah, My dad, HBO. he would, he Tales would, from the he had HBO at work, so he would, he would put it on a VHS and record it for me. So we would watch <laughs> Count Cool Rider and that. But yeah, y'all, sometimes digging through those bins is, is a gold mine. You never it know. It definitely is. My grandpa goes to the D, uh, to the DI to get his movie collection. What, what's, what's DI? I'm, I'm not familiar with that. I don't know. But uh, that's, that's. I also sometimes you get fun stuff. I had an, a a sealed, uh, um, Clockwork Orange when my godbrother moved out. He also had Clockwork Orange. He was like, I think they were both sealed when I moved in. Which one's yours? I was like, Oh, just take the one that's open. You, that's the one you've had in your room. Go for it. I opened the sealed one I had that weekend to put up the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. There was no Clockwork Orange. It was Lady and the Tramp, and like two other movies. No, but like, where like, was Clockwork mm. Orange? I don't know. It it was sealed. It made sense. There's, there's spaghetti in, in, in Lady and yeah. the Tramps. Close exactly. to an orange. Same thing. There yeah. you go. <laughs> All right. They're All right. Ah, uh, the thrift store. There's where they really is big. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. So are they called? D is it called DI or is it just like I don't know? Like, is it is that just abbreviation? Like, what's the real name of it? I feel like that's kind of like our version of Zia Records over here. Maybe. Yeah, Zia. Well, it definitely is like a Zia. Zia well, has a movie collection. Yeah. Ours does. Mm -hmm. I don't know about in other states or cities. They do. We have a place called the Movie uh, Movie Trading Company here in in Texas. And it's huge. Oh. Like, yeah, they have like a giant like like racks and racks of just old DVDs and stuff. And uh, I I was wondering how they're still on business to be honest with you. So, but, that's wild. Like, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. That's all they do is music. It's music CDs and old school DVDs. And I'm just like oh, and wow, records. Okay. No records. They don't do records. no no vinyls. Oh, no. see, I'm all about the vinyl. Yeah. My vinyl collections. Pretty, vinyls are so expensive good. though, as it is though. I can only imagine. I got freaking so, laser discs. I have, laser discs. I have a laser disc player. I also have wow. beta. Wow. You know, <laughs> yeah. All right, Lex. Yep. yep, it's my turn. Let's close it off with you. What you bring in? I would like to uh, everyone bow your heads and give a moment of science for the Sir Carl Weathers. Uh, he passed. Uh, very sad news. He was a lovely human. He will be missed in the industry. Uh, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Today, I'm talking about the Alan Week 2 update, 1.15. And this IGN article, the first thing it says, make the game less scary. Excuse me? I'm sorry. What? Hmm. Um... It, here, here's a quick little Lex rant. Um, if if the game is too scary for you, um, and you put your big girl panties on and it's still too scary, let, let's have a chat. Let's have a chat, okay? Um, I, 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 like I've said, my computer is not quite beefy enough to get the uh, the best of the best experience while playing and streaming it. Um. But this new update does fix a myriad of bug issues. Um, the addition of a chapter select option in the main menu, which is very helpful for me, uh, because as you know, in the game, there are um, things that you need to pick up as you go, whether that be a collectible or a clue that maybe you missed. Because uh, a lot of the times when you pick up the clues, it will trigger a cutscene. Uh, and it tells you when you go to uh, get out of the game to go back to the main menu that, you know, in the section that you have started, uh, you are not 100%. You, you only hit the like 70 mark and you're like wait a minute i have gone through every dang alleyway so there were a couple of um clues and things like that final collectibles that if you passed it there was no going back to getting it so now you do have the option to go back um but the update also includes and this is crazy to me a much requested requested option to and i quote Tune down the horror flashes. Now, as we all know, <laughs> I've had four brain surgeries. A lot of flashing is very intense for me, especially for games that are dark. I have to turn the gamma up a little bit. Um, so sometimes flashing is very intense for me. I have not found it that bad in this game. Um, now, 
the audio intensity sometimes is a little nuts. So I do like that you are able to choose between low and normal horror flash visually and the audio intensity. Thank you for that update for, for us people. So that's very lovely of you. Um, when you do the, uh, the chapter select, you can choose to replay missions, obviously. Um, it's, it's like a pre-made save, regardless of your own progress, um, which makes it obviously a lot easier to go back and get your collectibles and things like that if you are trying to 100% and get those trophies. Um, but yeah, it, this update, again, th all of the patch notes are in the article. I will happily post it for you for those of, of you who are really into the game. I. I know this is crazy. I have yet to finish. Um, oh, cool writer. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm. I haven't finished the game. Well, I. I mean, I guess if it's just a, um, if it's just a setting or something. I mean, it's not like it. I mean, if it, if it gives you the option to do uh, to to lay it back, then I don't think it's as much of a, a pro problem. I guess it's not as intrusive as a. Like if it was fully intrusive the way uh the way it goes, you know. So, right. Yeah, but, but yeah, you can definitely tune down the horror aspect it's of it, weird. make it less yeah, scary, kinda... <laughs> which I feel like I don't know, and maybe this is just me. I've played a lot of horror games. It takes a lot to really uh, surprise me because there there's it's it's kind of like looking at a math equation, right? You know two plus two equals four, and so after the two with a plus sign is a jump scare right so you kind of get used to this pattern um and a lot of horror a lot of horror games the music is just on a loop it's not mm. to what's happening with the game whereas obviously this is not that case everything is very masterfully and beautifully done uh but because i was streaming and playing at the same time we lost a little bit of that so i'm hoping that with this update that fixes it also i'm getting a beefy baby here any day now so she gonna be able to handle everything um but yeah there are a lot of patch notes so if you've been running into issues uh, I will post it for you guys so that you're able to take a look uh, and see if maybe any of those issues were bothering you. But don't make it less scary. Come on. You got this. I believe in you. If you it's can less scary, it. that sounds like something me and Smitty could possibly do. <laughs> <to> do <it. laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I know. You get unlimited ammo. That'll yeah. make it less scary for me. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're thinking say that again? Did you say less ammo? ammo? No, unlimited. I said unlimited ammo. Oh, yeah. That would be real helpful. Nope. Yeah. In the first case, it was terrifying. As long as like, Smitty is left. loaded with a gun, he'll be fine to play any <laughs> any horror I, game. I am. Oh. I can't do the ones where like you just get a phone or you oh. just get a flashlight. Like mm. I can't even defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not play the first one? No, what? The first Alan Wake? Oh. No, I started to a little bit with Scorp with, Kitty with and Scorp I haven't Kitty. gone back. Yeah. yeah. So if yeah. you guys, to explain it a little bit, you don't get unlimited ammo. Maybe in the playthrough, they'll give you an option. It, it might be in the patch notes. But uh, in the original, uh, the fighting me mechanism, you have a street lamp and you are kind of dependent on that to keep you safe from the oogie boogies. Because when you're in a full bead of light, A, it heals you, but B, they can't see you. So mm. that is a big aspect of it. So they give yeah. you that light, but you got five bullets and seven guys coming at you. And one bullet is not enough to get rid of them. So you kind of have to, you know, finagle yeah. things. <laughs> yeah, right. it got rid of one yeah so. it's like yeah there you go man that's crazy <laughs> i mean yeah it's, i mean it's a, i mean it's like i said more hey more options more uh for more for different people for, for it to play that I'm, I'm totally for it i, I mean it's cool if the, especially if that if that's was something that, that that the community was specifically asking for and then that's what they answered and they answered back for it i mean that's that, that it just shows hey. that, they, that they're that they're listening I love it when you Excellent. listen. I love, I love, that's great. Uh, but guys, I will, I'll help you through it. <laughs> if, if God brings you to it, he'll lead you through it. I'm God in this scenario. I'll help you, okay? I got you. <laughs> that's, that yeah, is. we're good. I don't believe that. But let's go. We were after after the Elgada thing we just talked about prior to the show. I don't believe you. 
the, 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 yeah, so no. I'll send you a box of a uh, just just an Elgato box. <laughs> okay, I'll yeah, vacuum fair. all the hair in my house and just send it. That's to you. right. There you go. Yeah. Forever in your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no. Yeah. Oh, uh, folks. Thank you for listening to episode number six oh uh, oh six oh wow no thank you for episode two oh six of the CFG Gamecast. Thank wow. you for being a part of the conversation. As always, uh, we will be back again next week. But in the meantime, we you can always listen to the recording on <clears throat> on any podcast services, uh, or you can go on our YouTube page, the YouTube uh, the CFG channel on YouTube to see the full video in, in the more. Uh, the, uh, uh, the video itself on Monday morning. So there's absolutely no reason to miss out on our sexy, sexy voices. Ooh. Yeah. Also, guys, be sure oh, to uh, next on Tuesday on the 6th, we will do, apparently we will be doing a uh, a Let's Watch of Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth uh, State of Play. And uh, check out our most recent interview with the voice of of a uh, Pokemon, uh, one of the Pokemon trainers in uh, N- Nazi uh, Nazi Tarsha on Pop Culture Gems, as always. So once again, this is Davis signing out with Lex and Smitty. Y'all, take it easy. Okay, bye bye.